गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सूर्य विद्यान केतन गिद्दलोर साइंस सब्जेक्ट क्लास सेवेंथ ओके दिस वीडियो फॉर क्लास सेवेंथ स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्रीवियसली वी डिस्कस अबाउट दट रेस्पिरेशन इन ऑर्गानिजम्स ओके हियर रेस्पिरेशन एंड ब्रीथिंग प्रोसेस दे आर बोथ आर डिफर ओके हियर रेस्पिरेशन इट इज ए एनर्जी रिलीजिंग प्रोसेस the food digest the digested food that is uh, react with oxygen okay the breakdown of food which release the energy okay breathing is process is it is a physical process the taking of air into the body and uh, giving out of the air okay which air which gas is inhaled that is oxygen and which gas is exhaled that is carbon dioxide that is called breathing okay respiration is a chemical process breathing is a physical process so in the process of respiration the energy will be produced okay here in the process of breathing the energy will be consumed okay here dear students we discuss about that already we discussed that is a types of respiration how many types is there there are two types of respiration is there one is aerobic respiration and second one is anaerobic respiration okay in aerobic respiration oxygen is useful in anaerobic respiration uh, oxygen without use of oxygen okay whatever it may be in both processes aerobic and anaerobic the energy will be produced okay today our topic is breathing in other organisms okay breathing in cockroach dear students have you seen that cockroach yes okay here the cockroach with be belongs to phylum arthropoda it has that jointed legs as well as insects also they belongs to phylum arthropoda okay here the cockroach has white color blood it doesn't has that hemoglobin the blood doesn't has that hemoglobin so here the blood appears in white color what is the use of hemoglobin hemoglobin it is a protein which carries that respiratory gases in uh, in our body so here there is a, uh, a hemoglobin is not present so that's why the white the blood appears in white color so how does the breathing process occurs in the cockroach let's see a cockroach has small openings on the sides of its body okay look at that figure okay the cockroach has small holes as uh, on the sides of its body both sides okay on the sides of its body the other insects have similar openings as like cockroach other insects also having small small openings uh on the under side of the cockroach it has a segment okay it has that segments okay here <coughs> there are small holes which are connected through respiratory tubes okay here yes as like us okay we have that small openings the openings are called nostrils or nose as like the cockroaches have small openings these are okay these are connected to a pipe okay in our in our body there is a nasal passage wind pipe is there so here also the uh, small openings are connected through respiratory tubes in in a network okay this uh, this helps the cockroach to breathe so the openings uh, the small openings and tubes which helps in the uh, cockroach to breathe okay look at this figure dear students tracheal system and spiracles okay these small openings are called spiracles okay here we, what we are called we call that spiracles the network of respiratory tubes called trachea okay here <coughs> uh, trachea take air from from these spiracles uh, circulate it throughout the body Uh, to collect uh, collect it back and send to send out uh, send it out through these spiracles to collect the air and to send out the air through the spiracles 
so here the cockroaches have that breath, uh, spiracles and trachea with the help of spiracles and trachea the breathing process will occurs in the cockroaches so the cockroaches they belongs to phylum arthropoda they have that segments jointed legs not only cockroaches the insects the insects have that uh, spiracles what are spiracles spiracles are the small holes that present on the sides of its body the tube like structures that present in the body they are called trachea okay next one is there breathing in fish how does the uh, fishes uh, breathe okay here fish is a aquatic organism it lives in water so the fishes they breathe that the oxygen the air that dissolved in the water okay here when we observe in the aquarium the fish continuously open and close their mouth in water why <coughs> okay here gills are the respiratory organs of fish the fishes have the gills okay <coughs> the gills are the respiratory organs of the fish the water enters through the uh, enters the mouth flow through uh, flow through both gills okay it's uh, both sides the gills are present okay here the gills absorbs that oxygen that dissolved in water uh, this oxygen is carried to different parts of the body so when you observe that fish the fish as the the respiratory organs of the fish is uh, fish is the gills okay where does these gills are present okay these gills are present in a phoenix okay here the gills are connected to the uh, small uh, blood vessels okay when the water enters into its mouth okay the dissolved oxygen okay the dissolved oxygen is diffused into the blood stream and at the same time the carbon dioxide is also released into the water so uh, the gills are the respiratory organs of the fishes and the next one is there that is the breathing in frog okay frogs are the amphibian okay amphibian means the organism that lives in water and as well lives on the land in both land and water they are called amphibians to breathe on land it has lungs okay it to breathe on the land it has lungs uh, while it goes deep under the uh, under uh, and sleeps twice every year it is its moist skin take over function of lungs okay whenever it is that means the frog the frog it goes to the deep sleep every year okay under the ground so at that moment the moist skin the skin he has a very slippery so that's why the moist skin and the lungs they mainly uh, follow that uh, the frogs the frogs they can respire through the lungs whenever it went to the water so with the help of that um, the with the help of moist skin the oxygen that dissolved in the water so that's why it to uh, uh, transport to the all parts of the body okay here the larva of frog is known as the tadpole tadpole larva the tadpole larva it is totally aquatic organism so the tadpole larva has special organs like that of fishes called gills so here the uh, tadpole larva has the respiratory organs are called gills so with the help of gills the tadpole larva can breathe these gills help them to breathe in water by taking air in the dissolved in water okay students thank you to, uh, next in the next class we will discuss remaining